Hello guys, Chris B here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3050 in Rust. This one is the Gigabyte Eagle version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups. GPU Z resizable bar is enabled, and we got 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 in this card because it's the desktop model of the card. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 5 3600X and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz. CL14 memory in dual channel as well. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution and I'm also gonna test this at 1440p probably and 4K at the lower settings at least. And right now we're using the high settings on the graphics quality, but this is just for the textures. All right, everything else is pretty much maxed out aside from this one right here, as well as the global rendering stuff. So we could call this ultra settings, all right, without the LS. On the image effect settings, we're using SMAA anti-aliasing, depth of field is turned off, and you can see everything else right here. I prefer SMAA to TSSAA here at 1080p at least, because this looks a little bit softer, and SMAA is pretty sharp, especially with the sharpening filter on top over here. On the experimental settings, this is it, and let's play the game now. There's a huge base right there, actually. So I just joined this server, it has like 10 people in it, so it's not really going to be a CPU you bottleneck scenario and we already got a shotgun that's absolutely amazing okay <laughs> so we can raid them bastards oh yes <laughs> you know what i'm gonna leave them a little bit of scrap here okay w why is the open thing don't not working sometimes here you go 50 scrap that's a lot of scrap right so yeah just enjoy it <laughs> we are friends now guys this is basically my base at this point all right let's continue our journey guys oh there's a train now in rust it's been a really long time since i played this actually but i have quite a few hours in it guys i have played this game for about like 200 actually 300 hours with my friends yeah, of course some of those hours are just benchmarking the game but yeah I've had a lot of fun here in Rust and I kind of know what to expect already in terms of where it's more intensive GPU bound CPU bound and stuff like that and I can tell you guys that where you're gonna see the least FPS is not in like bandit camp like some people say it's actually in big forest areas like uh, well this isn't really that dense of a forest area but this is where it becomes more GPU bound and this is where you're gonna see the least FPS so seeing 60s around here is actually quite surprising. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting the FPS to be this high with 3050, especially with ultra settings, basically. So that's quite nice to experience here, guys. Yes, it does dip down into the 50s very often. And yes, it does have a few stuttering issues here and there that I hope will go away when we play on low settings. But it's... It's a playable experience. I've had much, much worse. And for the first like 50 to 100 hours that I put in in this game back in like 2014, 2015, I was playing with an FX processor from AMD and a GTX 760. And I was playing with around like 30 to 45 FPS most of the time with some drops here and there. So yeah, it was dropping into the twin. Oh my God, we got an AK. Are you kidding me? This is perfect. Now I, I just need some armor. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, so this is a true PvP server. They just give you weapons. I really hope we can find some people to kill. But yeah, guys, with around like 50 to 70-ish FPS most of the time... It is going to be a great experience here in Rust. This is not a game that requires super fast reactions unless you are super competitive at it, <laughs> right? That's why I'm going to test some uh, low settings in just a little bit. But yeah, if you want to play with good graphics and experience this, this, this looks pretty good actually, even today uh, with these graphics. You can, with a 3050. That's very, very nice to and reassuring to, to know. Also, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the RAM utilization in this game is absolutely insane. <laughs> so you will need more than like 20 gigabytes to play it properly without major stops and major stuttering issues, all right? Now, if you want to keep the ultra settings, there's always DLSS that you can play around with. I'm going to set it to quality. It says max quality, but it's just the quality preset normal 
from other games, you know. And as you can see, it does make the image quite a bit softer here because it's actually working on top of TSSAA, I guess. So it has a bit of a different look to it. It's not like the, the softest thing in the world, honestly. It still looks great. It removes all of the aliasing from the image that we were seeing previously, but I actually prefer some aliasing. This is not one of the worst implementations, okay? It's actually a pretty decent one. It's just that in this particular title, you can remove that terrible TAA and stuff like that that you can't really do in other games. Uh, the native AA that's very, very soft. And well, I prefer it that way, but I can certainly see the appeal of the LSS in this one. It certainly does look very, very similar to native resolution with like TSSAA. So uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a compelling option, guys. And maybe people are trying to destroy those things over there. I'm not really sure. Hmm. All right. Yeah, th th there's one right there. Okay, okay. Let's let's try to do this. I, I don't have any armor on me. Well, I do have this, but it's it's pretty crappy. I don't have pants or anything or uh, clothes, so it's gonna be terrible. If they hit us, we're screwed. So let's play it slow. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Damn it! There goes my slow play. I don't have bandages or anything, so I'm just gonna eat everything I can. I'm probably gonna die eating, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, they're shooting at somebody else or maybe they think that I'm still there. No, boy. Okay, 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 okay. They're probably on top of the building or something. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this is actually getting 60 plus FPS all of the time with DLSS. So if you value the 60 plus FPS experience, Sure, go for this with the LSS, because it still looks very, very similar to native resolution once again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't think they will see us from here. I could do with, like, a, some some sort of sight or something. Maybe there were turrets shooting at it. Yeah, that's a turret right there. Okay, maybe it wasn't really anybody. Interesting. I mean, maybe it was as well because we saw somebody running towards this area. Now, in these areas with more buildings and stuff like that, it actually becomes more CPU bound. So if you have a more balanced system like the one that I'm using here, 3600X and the RTX 3050, you will see a little bit of GPU usage fluctuation in these particular scenarios. So GPU usage is dropping down to like 80 something percent at times. Still maxing out at other times, but yeah, this is more CPU bound, basically, okay? Let's uh, grab more mushrooms. Yeah, they, they saved this, so they will continue to do so. <laughs> but yeah, apparently most of the time it's still actually closer to GPU bound than CPU bound over here with these specs, which is interesting. I thought it was going to drop a little bit further than this. The 3600X seems to be enough for like 70 plus frames per second in these areas, which is quite nice to see, actually. All right, I'm going to stand right here. Okay, and that's the performance with DLSS. I think it dipped down to like the 50s sometimes, but it's not really the end of the world. It was still very playable, right? I'm now going to test 1440p just for a little bit. I don't think you should play at 1440p with a 3050, honestly, these days. But with DLSS, it's probably going to work fine. But first, I'll need to test it at native resolution. And as you can see, native res, 1440p, ultra settings with high textures, so we don't go over the VRAM limits. It is okay, it's getting like 40-ish frames per second. Frame time graph seems to be a little more consistent, actually. Maybe because we're further away from the CPU... Um, threshold, you know, from being CPU bound in this particular game. So yeah, as a result, that frame time is, is a little bit more stable, but it still has some spikes here and there and some dips, so it's still stutter. It's just the game itself in its current state is like this, at least at maximum settings. Oh, can we spot somebody from here? Actually, 1440p resolution is quite handy for these things compared to 1080p resolution, because you can spot a lot of people a lot better um, at the distance. There's a little chopper right there. Okay. Yeah, oh, there, there's one there. One guy. It's definitely not going to happen. Oh, I, I actually got him. No? Wait, he is down, right? I think so. We got the guy. How the heck did we get him? <laughs> I can't really shoot him anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got him. Nice. 
<laughs> 200 meters with the AK-47 without a sight, my friends. That's that's pretty good. All right. <laughs> good shot. Good shot. Oh, look at that. Look at that over there. Should we go inside? Okay, wait a second. There's a turret right there. I don't think we can actually go anywhere from there. So I'm not gonna go inside. I'm gonna try to find the guy that we just killed, guys. What? Hello? Hello? Hi! Behind? Of course, I knew it! <laughs> I knew he would come for his things, guys. Gosh! All right, let's, let's respawn somewhere else. Wait a second, I'm here. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I don't have weapons, though, this time around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to another area of the map, but no, we're right here beside our corpse. Okay. Um, also, this feels playable still, even though it's not 60 FPS. Again, th this is okay for Rust. I've played countless of hours with these FPS, as I told you, so I am fine with this experience. Maybe I can get to him? I don't think so. Probably saw his... Yep. <laughs> All right, I think I, I should probably die... <laughs> and spawn somewhere else in the map. He thinks I have a weapon, probably, though. So we, we should try this out, right? Come on, you bastard! Well, I still hit him. <laughs> I consider that a win. And in denser forest areas like this one, with a lot of vegetation, it drops into, like, the low 40s, probably high 30s in, like, a little bit uh, different scenarios. Yeah, there we go, over there. It's it's dropping into the 30s right here, looking in this direction. It is playable. Again, I could definitely enjoy this game like this. I did enjoy this game like this for the last, like, five minutes or so that we've been playing at 1440p. It was very, very fun. But, you know, people are probably looking for a better or a smoother experience. So I'm gonna try it out with some DLSS on quality. And look at that, it makes a huge difference. We're now getting very similar FPS to what we saw at 1080p resolution, guys. And if I light up the torch, by the way, it usually is a little bit more intensive. Yep, there we go, dropping down into the low 50s, high 40s sometimes. Um, but again, it's very, very similar to what we saw at 1080p native. Big base right here, guys. There is a turret there. I don't think it has bullets because... It, it, this looks like it's been raided already, right? Yes, yeah, there's some traps. So, oh boy, wait a second, we got some loot here. AK again! There we go, now we're talking again. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, but this one has an holographic sight. I really like this. Okay. Roach is right there. Let's get to the boy. Okay. All right. Now we're talking, guys. Now we're talking. This is going to be perfect. We're together again. Roach and I. The inseparable duo. Okay. Now we can get to places very, very fast. Let's go to the launch site again. <laughs> It's been a while, you know, you spend a lot of time walking to places in this game, that's for sure. That frame time is terrible, that is not a roach, or actually it's his friend. Yes, it's not another roach, there is only one roach, of course, and it's this one. Anyway, here we are, still seeing around the same FPS, like dropping into the low 50s at times, uh, and now that we are riding roach, it is a lot more stuttery, actually, unfortunately. It's not really that great, but it is what it is, guys. It's still enjoyable. <laughs> this is probably the only game that stutters, and I don't get too mad at it because it stutters, you know? I can still enjoy a, a lot of this game with stutters because I just love the game. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I now see how people can enjoy other titles like Fortnite and stuff like that. Holy crap, that's dark inside. But well, that's it for 1440p. With the LSS quality, you can actually get by with 60 frames per second on average and even with the ultra settings. And I'm not going to try the highest settings with 4K resolution, all right? I'm just going to turn it all off right here. And we're going to try to play with, like, low textures and... Uh, the, the LSS off and lowest settings overall aside from like the shader level which I will keep at 300 draw distance I'll keep that at like 1500 right here shadow distance and in the middle as well roughly and is a tropic yeah I don't care about that this is now for the competitive players out there okay well I don't think we need to change this one right here it says that you only need to decrease it on low end systems so 
yeah, but this is not really at that low end of a system, I guess. It's fine. It's like mid-range-ish. No, not really. Mid-range today is like a 6700 XT or even 7700 XT. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. Let's go play at 1440p using these settings. And I'm going to restart the game to fully apply everything. But as you can see, we're fully CPU bound at the moment with 60% GPU usage in this area. All right, guys, now the game looks very, very potato-ish <laughs> in some areas, actually, especially at the distance with trees. Look at that one right there. Yep, pretty terrible. And we are fully CPU bound. So the 3050, when paired with a faster CPU, say for example, a Ryzen 5 5600X instead of 3600X, you'd be seeing like 120, 130 frames per second instead of around 100 frames per second, which is what we're seeing at the moment. Stuttering is still there, unfortunately. It's not as bad as it was before, I guess, but it, it maybe it's just because of, of the area where we are in at the moment. The 1% lows are still... Oh my god, there's a tank. There is a tank right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the 1% lows are still not really that accurate because of the little spikes that we see sometimes. Is it gonna see us, guys? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, massive stutter right there. Holy crap, what the hell happened? <laughs> Okay, let's continue rolling around here. But hey, we still got that view distance set to 1500 or so, so you can still spot people at the distance very well. Oh my god, the 1% lows are going crazy right now. We got a lot of stuttering right there, probably because I opened this. Yep, look at that. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, well, yeah, it's not really that stable of an experience. If it was really, really smooth at the lowest settings, I would probably go for these. But uh, I think for the casual player here in Rust, you're probably going to be better off with the higher settings and uh, just better graphics. You know, it's going to be a more enjoyable experience, in my opinion. But as you can see, in some areas like this one right here, with a lot of vegetation around us, we can still see 90 plus percent GP utilization sometimes not all of the time uh, but yeah now we're seeing like 120 fps because this area is not as cpu bound and gpu usage is going up by quite a bit as well as a result of that um so if it was fully gpu bound we'd be seeing 100 plus fps all of the time but still with some stuttering issues unfortunately that's just the state of the game at this point there's roach again over there let's go I'm here, Roach. Look at me. Come to Papa. Let's go. <laughs> Let's move around. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. We got our boy right here. Good stuff. Good stuff, Roach. Yeah, you can see his frame time graph just going a little bit more crazy at the moment with more uh, frequent spikes or bigger spikes as well. Yeah, it is what it is, my friends. It's just... Again, the state of the game. I'm not going to talk about the stuttering anymore because <laughs> there's no need to. Can we go up to like 1440p? I think we might actually still have a CPU bottleneck scenario at 1440p resolution. Here we go. 2560 by 1440, 100% resolution scale. I'm not testing the LSS, by the way, at uh, 1080p res because it would just get the same FPS and be a little bit blurrier at the same time and with lower GPU usage. But here, as you can see, at 1440p with 3050 native resolution, it actually does get us 100% GPU usage all of the time. Maybe in other areas like the launch site or water treatment plant, it will go down in GPU utilization a little bit because, again, they are more CPU bound, so it drops FPS by a little bit more there because of the CPU. But, uh, yeah, over here, like 90% of the game will uh, get you a GPU-bound scenario with this system right here, which is quite nice, you know? All right, anyway, around here, yep, 90 FPS. It's stable. It's just inconsistent because of the stuttering, but it's stable overall in terms of the FPS that you can experience in various different scenarios basically you're gonna drop down to like 80 90 fps in bushy areas forest areas and stuff like that and over here as well and you're gonna see like up to 100 frames per second maybe at 110 in desert areas for example so it doesn't really vary too much 
you know, depending on the area here at 1440p resolution because it's fully GPU bound once again, like it was at the higher settings. So now if you are at 1440p resolution with this card, I think, oh my God, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> just a weird animation. I think I would choose these settings maybe with a little bit higher texture resolution, you know, to make things look a little bit prettier. And also that will fix the freaking blurry trees that we're seeing right here. Not blurry, just vomit trees, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I would just stick to those settings. It should get around the same FPS if you increase the texture resolution as well. And it's gonna look a little bit prettier and stay above 60 FPS the entire time here at 1440p. Ooh, ooh, oh boy. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna save this for 4K resolution, okay? <laughs> Let's go up to 4K now and still with the low settings, of course, keep an eye out on that VRAM utilization or allocation actually. Yep, it's not bad by any means. It's still nowhere near the eight gigabyte mark. God damn it. Oh boy, around here we're getting 50s and 60s. All right, this is pretty decent, guys. Oh, we're back here. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, it is, this is not terrible. Honestly, like, again, I have had way worse experiences in Rust with way worse FPS than what we're getting here at 4K native resolution with 3050. So even if you have a 4K monitor and you want to play at 4K res, as long as you keep things set to low or competitive settings, you know, with the view distance or draw distance, whatever, set to like 1500 or so and shader level 300, well, you can still have a decent experience. Not gonna be a competitive one. I guess nobody expected it to be at 4K, right? But honestly, there are some advantages of playing at 4K resolution in Rust because you can actually spot people very, very well here um, at the distance with this resolution and pixel density especially. So it works even at 4K. Maybe at 4K res, I would enable the DLSS right here. I wouldn't really do so at 1440p and 1080p because they were above 60 FPS all of the time. Yeah, the LSS quality doesn't really do much, does it? <laughs> it improved our FPS by like four or so. Not that big of a difference, guys. And it is definitely a little bit softer. I can notice it. It still looks really good here at 4K resolution, of course, but it's quite a softer image to what we saw previously because of the native resolution plus sharpening. Pl plus, plus, plus sharpening. <laughs> All right. And lastly, I guess we're going to do like a max performance DLSS right here or just performance DLSS. It's not like ultra performance. Yeah, it's just the performance <laughs> setting. And this is enough for us to get 60-ish FPS sometimes. But the performance increase here at the low settings, at least and 4K resolution by DLSS is not really that big, as you can see. So... It's just 15 FPS of a difference between performance DLSS, which is essentially rendering the game at 1080p and upscaling to 4K, and native resolution with sharpening, which looked way, way sharper than this. This is still very passable, though, and if you take a look at a lot of games that come out these days with TAA, forced TAA at native resolution, they would look a little bit softer than this, still. Okay, <laughs> that's insane that DLSS is making the game run at 1080p and upscaling to 4K and doing such a good job at it here in Rust. But uh, yeah, it is a little bit softer than just plain native resolution, of course, as expected. And that's been it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, the video and I hope it was informative to you and stuff. Obviously, I'm skipping like medium settings and high settings and so on, but it already did a pretty decent job on ultra settings, so I wanted to try that out. And um, now you know that if you lower a few settings as well from ultra, you can also achieve 60 plus FPS at 1080p native, 1440p native, and so on. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.